put on the another battery and we're just leaving the area of outstanding beauty the open bit anyway it's all beautiful here we've just done that I've put an, a fresh top on the other one was absolutely soaked this one probably will be but I've just put it on to for now it's a little bit more airing as well this one I, I carried two because when you start off it, it could be nippy you know and so you, you have uh, a t-shirt and you have an, as like a top on top a very thin summer top I've got on it's like a shirt thing a smock top I've just swapped them over I've taken the absolutely soaked t-shirt off a very very thin one it did its job it kept me cool and as a t-shirt was getting wet um, it was actually keeping my back cool it you know it was like a, a good thing although you were perspiring it was actually keeping you cool so I thought that was good all these various walks here I've done down through these paths through the woods tend to do them more in the winter and we're now going to have a nice wander through the wood not going through it exactly we're keeping to these main tracks I like to go in the wood really because it's cooler I've been up well I've been every track you see coming off I've been up now we're not doing it today but down there is a secret entrance to my happy valley I've called it happy valley because a girl called it that, that I met on a horse once down there and she said this is a beautiful peaceful place and it's beautiful especially when the bluebells are out but it's a little bit of a concealed entrance so I'm not going to go on there but it's a lovely walk very very peaceful with beautiful trees but today I want to walk I don't I quite often do these walks like that one back there um, I want to do the stream walk because after today a lot of this area will be filled with people like well not filled but there'll be a lot more people out hiking and walking and and stuff like that and it's Friday by the way it is Friday I kept thinking it was Thursday but it's actually Friday and um, I've got to remember to turn the camera off when I'm not using it when it's attached to the battery charger otherwise it, it, it acts funny it goes into like a sleep mode then I have to disengage the battery charger take out the battery give it a shake put it back in you know it's got its own sort of life the camera stuff I'm doing a little bit now on on the camera as we've, we're leaving now and we're going down one of the main tracks through Robera Warren that I've been exploring for quite a few years now and I first started doing it on behalf of a, a deceased third cousin of Canada but originally her, 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 her um, father or grandfather were from England Fletcher's but on her other side not my side she had people from Somerset from Roborough and Shipham and so I because she was in Canada I started to explore for her in fact I ought to put some of these walks on Barbara she's called Barbara on Barbara's ancestry tree that I helped well, I've got part of it on my side because she is a part of my family on the Fletcher side so I ought to start adding some web links to her don't forget that when her ancestors were mining here it didn't look like this peaceful, peaceful green place that we've got now it was an open ground mining area and it could have looked like it does that pretty uh, yeah that pretty minor is like black and noisy and full of black smoke and that from the smelting so it wouldn't have been like it is landscape now with these tall pine street pine trees they put a lot of the pine trees here because it's led under the ground 
they put a lot of them up to cover the scars of the mining. But I'd point all that out. She'd say she listened to this video now, or her family, I mean, that I would be explaining it to them. Yeah, I did thorough research. There were some of her family who didn't really believe it. Um, even though I had dates of birth, marriages. There was a slight variation in the surname, which can happen and often does. I've got ancestors who have an oak family. Sometimes it's oak with an E. Sometimes it's oak without the A. But as I say, they are the family. So it does vary. Right, hold on a minute. Alright. And then see you taking your hat off. <laughs> you need to. A bit hot. Yeah, I hadn't thought about, um, I have placed some of my, um, web links on the medieval ancestors, for example. I've put things on, say, for Richard III, or the Declares, oh, lots of them. I've put on, um, the visits I've paid to the places, and, like, the battlegrounds, the, the churches, the castles. I've put it under their profile as a descendant of 24 odd generations ago in some occasions um, so I have done it so but I need to do it and I've done it for like uh, my grandchildren ch on their father's side which isn't my side because um, it was my daughter who married him um, I've done things to their other grandmother I've placed web links to videos I've done when I visited the villages her ancestors grew up in in Dorset and, and that so yeah it's very but I don't do a lot in the I, I have a, a frantic go in the in, in the winter I'm very very busy because there's lots of catching up to do you know and um, and, and of course since I didn't have a vehicle I couldn't go out exploring like I used to so that's all got us kick off again um, there's lots to do I never get bored I never get bored um, I, I really enjoy my walking it's a healer for me because I have had traumas um, and events that have not been very pleasant for me to deal with and um, so my walking has helped and it's not a miserable thing it's the fact that it's so beautiful and peaceful that um, it's helped that beauty that peace and most people I see when I'm out walking also enjoy the experience you know I'm just going to try to see if I can zoom into those trees take a deeper picture which I used to be able to do brilliantly with the old Sonys that are not working at the moment properly or at all they need repairing I do miss their viewfinder really do so anyway folks we've had a brilliant walk and I'm really enjoying it oh, it's lovely though isn't it I mean just go straight into that wood again like you're walking through it right through the other side it's great isn't it I'm really pleased with this walk, the walks I've had this past week I've had some beautiful walks this past week I think I go over there by the way otherwise if we go that way we end up going down and I think I go straight over I did this the other week and I keep forgetting to tell the truth and I've been up and down all these oh I've been all over now this is the one that's going to lead me to the stream that will but you, you'll it'll cut out some of the stream if I go that way I just love all this you know 
I just can't stop taking photos when I'm out. I've got a battery charger with a much longer lead which is helping if I want to bring the camera up to eye level. Um, it tends to come out of my pocket. So we're leaving that area now. Oh god it's so gorgeous isn't it? And take your hat off for a bit. Yeah. Oh, it's took a minute. Oh. In the shade, I don't need your hat on. I probably can put it away now because I'm going to be in the shade a lot. Ten past four, folks. Very, very good time. We've still got a good hour. I'm not really going on time, I'm just saying. And I think that pub will fill up with people outside drinking lager. Because this is a rare thing now, us having a hot sunny day like this. They might get them in Greece and Italy and all those sort of places. But for us, we haven't had a summer. This, only, this is the first sign of summer we've really had. And the hottest one. Because basically we've had like sunny days. But we've had so much grey and wind and wet and tomorrow is supposed to be raining again and some parts of the country haven't had this beautiful day I just love it here I just love trees that's why my name is Wood and then I became a Lockwood then I'm a Wood again but I keep the old name I keep the married name for the sake of the kids, really. Turn it off when you're not using it as it'll lock on. And turn that off, we'll be out in the light in a minute. Yeah, I'm just talking to myself about sorting the camera out, but... Yeah. I really enjoy this. I love the peace. I just love trees. I love the trees. Robo Warren's beautiful. It's probably got lots of tales to tell. I'm sure. Lots of history here over the millennia. Lots of history. I suspect there's so much archaeology around here, you know, if they but you can't dig it all up, can you? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? There's always gonna be something not gonna be found for years. I mean, that you do. Oh God, this is lovely though, isn't it? I'm keeping the camera rolling a bit. Of course, I'm doing more longer videos, you know, because I've got all the batteries. And my videos have got bigger. But they take me longer to do. I've done the whole of uh, Pretty. It's ready to go on YouTube. I haven't got around to putting it on YouTube. Um, I haven't prepared... I've got everything saved for East Quantock Head, but I haven't put it into... Um, WMV or anything like that yet. It's not even all saved to disc yet. Um, there's a lot to do. And then I, I've already put on disc the um, Woodwalk and Sand Bay because I don't often share those, believe it or not. They get stored on disc and then every now and again I'll dig them up. 
and think I'll share that. I've had some where people have been cutting the wood down and I've shown people what the wood looked like before they started hacking into it and clearing it. They come in useful those videos. But they're kept, they're diaries. Better put your hat on, chill. A bit of sun for five or ten minutes. You don't want to get sunstroke at the last minute, do you? Well, I'm going to turn off for a minute, folks. We're going down now this bumpy path. We're going down to the stream. Then we're, and, and it'll be very cool. A lot of the walk now will be back in the, the cool shade. Um, though it's been hot, I don't know if that was 30 degrees. Uh, uh, I've been out in 40 degrees. I have been out in 40 degrees before. We did have a very hot spell a couple of years ago and I climbed Glastonbury Tor in it. I was about the only one up there. But I did have lots of fluids and hat and everything. And of course, you've got to remember you need your glucose because a lot of people start passing out because they've not had any food. And your brain is the centre of control of your temperature and everything. So you need to feed it. That's why the glucose drinks, which I'm going to have another fruit juice in a minute, or a jelly, they are really good at boosting the glucose. That keeps the brain happy. Your brain uses an awful lot of glucose. So it's got a lot of jobs to do. It controls everything. Right, so we'll turn off for a sec until we get to the stream. <laughs> 